Alright, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside Ladies the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you just first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my first. Ready. big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big punch lands through the middle. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. 
Oh, collar tie. Spinning back fist is there. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. And he landed the right hand there. And then he lands a nice elbow. Such a fast leg kick. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go. Nice counter shot there. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they clinch. Just misses there with the left. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice jab. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Again, in the clinch. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. The overhand left is true. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spin his back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two
two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Nice right punch followed by a left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Left-right combo is good. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Huge knee land. Just missed with the left there. Oh, single collar tie here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There, huge block. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat the leg up. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just out of range with the big right hand. Again, they will clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looks like a landing right on that. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just puts his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. And another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight with the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Nice straight punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice job there defensively. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Ooh. Goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. 